Dubai first, non-stop Manila to New York flight. Wala pala akong sasundalan kasi yun tayo. Ang video na to ay isang flight review ng Philippine Airlines Flight PR126 from Manila to New York. I'll go over the ground experience, the cabin, my seat, the amenities, the in-flight entertainment and Wi-Fi, the meals, the lavatory, and of course the cabin crew. So please stay tuned. Mabuhay! Ito po muli ang ngayong lingkod na si Ronnie Pe. Sana'y masaya at ligtas kayo kung nasan man kayo ngayon. Para sa mga bago sa channel ko, sana'y mag-enjoy kayo, mag-stay at mag-subscribe. At sa mga matagal naman ng nanonood, maraming salamat sa inyong patuloy na pag -suporta. Tara, simulan na natin yung flight review. So para sa akin kasi, the airline experience begins even before you board the plane. So pasadaan natin yung check-in at boarding experience para sa flight na to. Pero bago ang lahat, kailangan nating tandaan na required ang face masks at face shield para makapasok sa Naiya or Manila International Airport at para makasakay sa aeroplano. So para sa mga hindi nakakaalam, merong exclusive terminal ang Philippine Airlines sa Naiya. So quick run through lang kung hindi kayo familiar sa Naiya. So Terminal 1 ay para sa International Flights Care of Full Service Airlines. Terminal 3 ay International Flights ng mga Full Service Airlines na wala sa Terminal 1. Tsaka International at Domestic Flights ng ilang low-cost carriers. Terminal 4 ay yung mga Domestic Flights ng mga low-cost carriers na wala sa Terminal 3. Yung Terminal 2, exclusive siya para sa International and Domestic Flights ng Philippine Airlines. Airlines. So, in terms of ground experience, yun ba lang, it's a very big advantage already kasi hindi mo ka-share yung passengers ng ibang mga airlines para sa security, immigration, at kung ano-ano pa. Napakabilis lang ng check-in. So, pagkababa ko ng sasakyan, initial security check sa airport, check-in, well, baggage drop, less than 30 minutes lang. Nag-check-in na kasi ko online around 24 hours before my flight. So, inaalaw naman ng palyon. So, yung ground staff, very friendly naman and kind. Boarding was very organized. So, kagaya sa ibang mga airlines, hati-hati siya sa una-muna business class, Kasama ng mga passengers with special needs, yung mga PWD, buntis, may kasamang bata, tapos premium economy, and finally, economy, kung saan yung ticket ko. So yung economy is divided into multiple subgroups. So ako, subgroup F ako, so medyo bandang dulo pa ako. Pero okay lang naman. It was organized, maliban sa pagtatawag ng boarding group, meron silang card na itataas. So group A, group B, group C, yun. So moving forward, pasok na tayo sa aeroplano. Daan na natin yung cabins. So, ang gamit ng PAL para sa flight na to ay mga Airbus A350. So, medyo bago itong mga aeroplano na to. Para mga 2 or 3 years ago lang nata nila binili to. So, the airplane is divided into 3 cabins. So, ito yung business class. Premium economy. And then finally, economy. So the economy class cabin has a seat configuration na 333. So tatlo sa left aisle, tatlo sa right aisle, tatlo sa gitna. So hindi siya masyadong siksikan kagaya ng ibang mga planes na 343. Or maybe standard to sa mga A350, hindi ko sure. So mukha namang malinis at naalagaan yung cabin. The interiors were kind of standard. Nothing special, standard, malinis. Pero yun naman yung pinakamahalaga, di ba? Malinis at maayos. Nakapasok na ako sa aeroplano, nakaupo na ako. Let's talk about the seat. So tuwing pupunta ako ng US, economy lang naman laging upuan ko. Out of all the economy seats na natry ko, ito yata yung pinaka-comfortable. So I think that says a lot about Philippine Airlines and their thrust to be a 5-star carrier. Hindi pa sila 5-star carrier ngayon, but I think they're doing a lot of things right right now. So, merong two main reasons bakit para sa akin napaka-comfortable ng seat na to. Una, yung actual seat configuration itself. Medyo maluwag siya. So, nai-stretch ko yung legs ko comfortably kahit na naglagay ako ng backpack dun sa ilalim ng upuan sa harap ko. So, very good job. Tapos, sunod dun yung recline. Ba't ako gumagano? 
yung seat recline on this economy cabin was very comfortable. I think it was more than the usual seat recline given by other airlines. Hindi siya kasing almost nakaiga ng business class pero it's very generous. So medyo comfortable siya for napping and for sleeping. And last part ng seat na gusto ko is yung headrest. So yung headrest nito, pwede mo ito pa yung gilid so para kang may travel neck pillow. So actually, meron akong travel neck pillow dapat na dadalhin for this flight kasi na expect ko. 15 and a half hours yung flight na to eh. So kailangan comfortable tayo. Pero naiwan ko sa bahay ko yung unan ko. Pero hindi ko naman siya na-miss dahil nga dun sa headrest. Pero yung headrest na to, hindi naman siya special sa Philippine Airlines. So I think over the past few years, lahat ng airlines na nasakyan ko, meron ng ganitong features. So what stood out for me on this flight were the legroom kasi spacious siya at yung recline kasi nakahiga ako kahit papano, hindi yung recline na. Oy, tapos na. And the second thing that made this seat very comfortable was a pleasant surprise to me. So 24 hours before your flight, nag-aalaw na yung Philippine Airlines na mag-online check-in. When I did the online check-in, tinanong ako ng website, do I want to change my seat? So for the heck of it, I just checked para malaman kung may katabi na ba ako. Kasi nung pinili ko yung seat ko before, wala akong katabi. Pero ngayon sa seat selector ng PAL, meron akong katabi. So, hindi ko na pinalitan kasi yung mga seats na walang katabi, nasa dulong-dulo na. So, parang ako, I'll be taking my chances sa the airport. So, bakit ko nasabi na may pleasant surprise? Well, dun sa airport check-in ng counter, tinanong ko yung lady kung meron bang available na window seat na walang katabi, na walang bayad kasi may seats na may bayad. Sabi ni Miss, meron daw isa lang pero nasa last row at hindi na-recline yung seat. And she advised me to just stay on my current seat. So, yun, hindi, yun, stay ako on my current seat. Tapos habang nandun na sa aeroplano, naghihintay ako na may katabi ako na darating. And then, lo and behold, nag-announce yung cabin crew that they will be closing the doors kasi palis na kami. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, this is Captain speaking. Welcome aboard this Philippine Airlines flight. We are one, two, six, five, four, three, one, two, three, So, I think, hula ko lang to ah. Yung pagbablock ng seat na katabi ko was a social distancing buffer ng PAL in case na hindi puno yung flight. Which, yun nga yung nangyari sa flight ko, hindi siya ganun kapuno. And sarado na yung mga pinto, we're ready for takeoff. Oof. So while waiting for the flight to take off, merong isang unexpected announcement from the cabin crew. Sabi nila, magkakaroon daw ng flight delay. Hindi sinabi kung gano'ng katagal, pero yun, magkakaroon flight delay. I was, I was surprised kasi as a pandemic, a lot of airlines have canceled their flights. So wala masyadong tao sa airport, wala masyadong aeroplano, but there's a flight delay. I don't know why, but yeah, mga one hour kaming na delay sa naiya. So mga one hour din kaming na delay ng pagdating sa JFK. So kahit pala pandemic, meron pa rin mga flight delays. So shortly after takeoff, duman yung mga cabin crew, may pinamimigay silang mga small blue pouch. They said that it was an overnight kit. So nakatuwa kasi hindi lahat ng airlines ngayon, kahit full service, nagbibigay pa ng amenity kits sa economy class passengers. So that's a small touch from Philippine Airlines that goes a long mile. So ano yung laman ng overnight kit na to? Well, there are three things. Una, yung eye shade. So pang cover sa mata in case you wanted to nap or to sleep. At yun naman yung bala ko gawin. So that was very handy kasi nakalimutan kong magdala. Tapos pangalawa naman ay yung travel size toothbrush and toothpaste. So meron kasing three meal services sa flight na to. So kung so mag toothbrush after meal service bago ka matulog, you can do so. And then finally, a pair of long socks. So ito, I think kung so matulog ng walang footwear, pwede mong isuot yung long socks na to para comfortable ka at hindi ginawin yung paamo. Pero ako yung suot ko naman nun, long socks na kasi ina-expect ko naman talaga na magnanap or matutulog ako sa plane for that very long flight. So yun, very nice little touch from Philippine Airlines. Now let's talk about the in-flight entertainment system. So very wide yung movies and TV selection ng Philippine Airlines for this flight. Unfortunately, napanood ko na yung marami sa kanila or hindi ko type panoorin. So hindi ko masyadong napakinabangan yung in-flight entertainment system na to. Although it's not the fault of the airline na wala akong gustong panoorin, it would have been amazing, it would have been great kung meron silang available na content for all types of passengers. So I would say that the in-flight entertainment is kind of standard. Buti na lang may mga na-download akong TV shows sa phone ko. So yun yung pinapanood ko during the flight. Wait lang guys, kailangan kong, kailangan kong mag-pack up muna kasi biglang umuulan na. So, change venue tayo. Hindi waterproof yung camera ko. I'll see you again. Ushk. Ayan. So, welcome back. 
So for this flight, nag offer yung PAL ng complimentary 60 MB onboard Wi-Fi access. So you might be thinking 60 MB in this day and age, walang masyadong mararating yun. And you're right. But for casual instant messaging, plain text emails, 60 MB sa opinion ko sapat na yun. So that's the good thing. Nag-announce sila na may free onboard Wi-Fi. The bad thing is... Hindi naman available yung Wi-Fi for most of the flight. Although nagsabi yung cabin crew na it might not be available for the whole duration of the flight kasi depende sa connection sa satellite. It was kind of disappointing na nakoconnect lang ako maybe during the first hour from takeoff and then for the rest of the flight, wala na. So sana bala inubos ko na agad yung 60 MB ko dun pa lang. So there are three meal services on this flight. So yung hot meal, which I'd like to call dinner, tapos refreshments, and then finally breakfast. So nagbigay yung cabin crew ng thin strips of paper. So yun na yung menu niya. So siguro ginawa nila to para hindi na magdi-disinfect lagi ng menu, para hindi na pasa-pasa sa iba't ibang passengers. So they made the menus disposable. For the first meal service, the hot meal, I went with the herb chicken and brown sauce. So sabi kasi nila, yung panlasa natin, napektado ng cabin pressure or ng altitude. So, pakifact check na lang, hindi ko sure, pero parang may narig akong ganun before. So, hindi ko naman na-expect na masarap ang airplane food. Pero sa lahat ng na-try ko, parang ito yung pinaka hindi ko nagustuhan. Hindi ko alam kung dahil pagod lang ako or hindi talaga siya masarap. Hindi ko sinisiraan yung pal. Lahat naman experience ko sa kanila, up to this point ay maganda. Itong meal lang na ito yung hindi. Buda nalang meron siyang kasamang brioche bun, butter, salad, tapos ube chiffon. So yun, okay naman siya. Pero yung main entree mismo, yung herb chicken and brown sauce mismo, hindi siya ganun kasarap, hindi ko na-enjoy. So for the refreshments, I went with the seafood marinara. Mas nagustuhan ko to kaysa dun sa unang meal. Actually, out of the three meals I've had, ito yung favorite ko. Simple lang siya, medyo mas malasa compared dun sa previous one. Tapos, sinervan pa nila ng ano, auro na chocolate bar. So yun. Parang hindi ko naman naramdaman na nabawasan yung panlasa ko dun sa chocolate bar. Masarap pa rin naman siya kahit nasa aeroplano ako. Out of the three meal services, this was my favorite. And last one for the breakfast. I went with the breakfast sausage and eggs. Actually, I think this meal had the potential to be the best one I would have had on this flight. Kaso lang may isang kulang na bagay, at ayun ay ketchup. So parang American style breakfast kasi to, and I think this kind of food goes really well with ketchup. So yun lang, medyo may kulang sa lasa. I think pwede naman humingi, hindi ko sure, hindi ko na tinry. Okay naman siya. So out of the three meal services, okay yung dalawa, yung first lang yung hindi. So I think okay naman na yun, at least dalawang meal services na enjoy. For me, the toilets were very clean and spacious. So there was one instance where there was a bit of a mess, but I don't think it's the cabin crew's fault because it was after a meal and many people were in line. So people were using it one after the other continuously. The size of the lavatory is standard. Not much to expect here. There's a wide vanity mirror by the sink and just enough standing room between the sink and the toilet. So it's generally clean and pretty average for any airline. I put this last kasi syempre kailangan may experience ko muna from boarding up to takeoff. off ano ba yung service ng cabin crew? And I'm happy to say na okay sila. Super okay naman. No complaints in this department. They were very polite and nice and it felt like they were genuine in trying to provide good service to the passengers. So wala nung mga unnecessary small talk, etc. So parang typical Filipino hospitality. So siguro dahil Filipino ako, mas komportable ako na Filipino rin yung cabin crew compared to other airlines na good service naman. Pero syempre, may cultural factors pa rin talaga eh. Mas at home tayo sa mga katulad natin. So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this or you got something useful out of it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Tapos share nyo na rin sa tingin yung pwedeng makinabang sa information na meron dito. Sharing is caring. So muli, ito pong yung lingkod na si Ronnie Pe. Kita-kita tayo ulit sa susunod na video. Hanggang sa muli, paalam! Ang layo ng camera. Hindi ko, hindi ko maganun. <laughs>